हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द चैप्टर नंबर टेन दैट इज मोर ऑन पाइवेट एनिमेटर सो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द पाइवेट एनिमेटर दिस इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर मेकिंग द एनिमेशंस व्हाट आर द एनिमेशंस एनिमेशंस आर सम पिक्चर्स वी कैन मूव दोज पिक्चर्स ओके वी कैन मेक देम लाइक कार्टून्स एज यू पीपल सी द कार्टून्स you might have seen the cartoons on the tv so like that this software is used for making the cartoons type of thing okay that is what animation so in this first you have to download the pivot animator software from the internet okay after that you will install that into your system now we will study that how what is adding background see in pivot animator you can display an image in the background of your animation so you can see this is the screen of pivot animator okay this is a picture given to you this is a by default picture and these are the controls given in this okay so in this you can create an image either on your own or you can import existing image which has been stored in your computer okay they can be two or three dimensional images now you can also select more than one background image for the different frames see this is a single frame now we can add different frames from here okay we can add frames from here like this is a new frame again this is a new frame like this we can add the different frames okay so in this you can add images of different formats see like you people have the cast okay like that only the files in the system also have the cast okay so the pictures have the formats like bitmap okay bmp stands for bitmap then um, your jpeg is there so jpeg stands for joint photographic experts group now third one is your gif okay gif graphics interchange format okay the full form is graphics interchange format and then png is for portable network graphics so these are the extension of the image files now how we can add a background in your animation first we have to select the required frame now we have selected this required frame now we will click on the file we will go to the load background under this you will get the different options of the images uh, suppose i am adding this image dominoes as a background okay now this has been selected and one more thing if you have an image which has already been used before as a background you can even add that image as a background from the background button so this is the background button okay from the click background to select window you will click the corresponding thumbnail okay next thing is you are using edit mode edit mode means how to change the things in this frames so in pivot animator edit mode allows you to reposition available figure joints while creating a figure type so this is your figure type you can change it you can reposition it now this changes the length and size of the this image okay when edit mode is disabled in the figure builder window this is your figure builder window okay at that time you can change the length of a single segment and you can also change the size or rotation of the stick figure now the things how you can change it to change the size of the figure you have to press the control key okay like you are pressing the control key now you have to change the their shapes with the help of the mouse now you are changing the shape you are changing the position of this okay now other thing is you can click on the alt key and again you can drag the mouse okay so now see i have pressed the alt key and i'm dragging the mouse that means its position is changed i have uh, changed its location towards the uh, like it's falling down okay and even you can disable the edit mode if you don't want if you want to move the stick figure as a normal image like it was earlier when we started to use this 
software now the steps are to enable or disable edit mode that in the stick figure build build uh, sorry builder window you will click on the edit menu this is the uh, edit menu under this you will get the edit mode okay um, then on that you can uh, if you will click on it it will be enabled and if you again click on it it will be disabled so if the tick is there that means it is disabled okay now and sorry tick disappears that means it is disabled okay now next thing we come to using color reduction using color reduction see an animation gif i told you what is gif graphical interchange format okay this can display only 255 256 different colors now the color reduction feature in pivot animator can be used to improve the quality of the picture okay it can be used to uh, improve the quality of a gif image which you are using and also reduce its file size okay so that it will take less memory space it will occupy less space in your memory now you can also change the availability colors manually okay so how we will use this to use the color reduction feature first we will create an animation of two or more frames like uh, we have taken this frame now suppose we are selecting this frame now i'm changing its position also suppose it's moving to this word uh, this side towards the left side Now we can add one more frame. Now in this frame we can change its position. With the help of mouse and with the help of control key. Okay. Now we can add one more frame. Now we can change its positions also. You have to click on the orange dot. Then only you can move these. Now you can even move the head also. Like it's slightly down. Okay, so we have added four frames now. Now we can use the color reduction. So for color reduction, what we will do? We will click on the file. Under this, you will go to the export animation. Then you have to click here suppose i'm taking i'm taking the desktop now on desktop i'm uh, naming it class 5 animation now you can see we have to save this file as a gif format that means it will be saved with the name class 5 animation dot gif okay these are the different files so we have selected the gif now we will click on save button now it has saved okay now you get the options that resizing if you want to resize this or the super sample is given then advanced options are given okay now if we click on the advance now you can see we have different kind of uh, options available here one is your advanced option in which color reduction is there now click on this you can see various options are available quantize windows netscape grayscale windows okay in this grayscale 256 color is the most important okay this is used for the better quality now we are selecting this then we go to the uh, sorry now we can even uh, select the quantize optimal this can be selected to obtain the best quality GIF with the largest file size. Okay. Then second option which can be taken is grayscale. Now grayscale is your 256 color. So if the animation contains no color, then you can select this. That means for the gray, gray color, black and white kind of image. Okay. Next is your monochrome. So this is your monochrome. It can obtain black and white GIF with the smallest file size okay so all of them you can use them after that you can click on ok so your next topic is uh, using the dither mode okay so when uh, you use many colors in the background at that time the quality of gif may reduce okay it may drop so a simple animation with different gradients of gradually changing colors in the background leads to the appearance of bands between different colors 
now see we can take it from here uh, that you can use the dithering process in pivot animators to improve the appearance of the animation to increase to enhance the look of the animation okay dithering increases the size of the animation file because you are improving the file you are improving the appearance of the file so automatically it will increase the size of the animation file so how we are going to use it see from the animation gif uh, option you can see this is the dithering mode now click on this you can see different options are available nearest floyd stanberg stucky sarah all these are the different options available so you can select any one of them and you can apply it like suppose we are applying this now we can uh, we are not clicking on the ok because the next options are also available here that one is optimization okay optimization is done for what it can reduce the file size okay so that it can save your storage space also the memory space also so this is called optimization as i told you that if we apply dithering on the animation it is going to increase the size of the animation file okay but with the help of optimization feature we can reduce the file with reduce the size of the file now how we will do it you can see here the options are available three options are there merge frames color palette and the crop okay now in the uh, merge frame see uh, we have to select this checkbox to merge the available pixels with the same color like those pixels which are having the same color will be merged together so it will automatically reduce the size of the image now next is your color palette okay so it is used to sort the available colors this option can also delete the unused entries the entries which have not been used they will be deleted so it is going to reduce the space occupied by the file then third is your crop option so crop option it can crop the transparent areas crop means as you crop the images in your mobiles okay you remove the unwanted parts from your images that is the crop option so you can select any one of them now after that you have to click on ok now you can see that we have made four frames okay these are the four frames which we have added suppose we add one more frame now again i am changing the position of this you can change the position in all the frames so that when you are going to play this it will be it will be appearing like he is moving okay now what we can do we can click on the play button now you can see it is moving all these frames are coming one by one so you are uh, it is visible to you like that this frame is moving okay or it is dancing so this is a dancing style now you can see this uh, diagram or this figure is in a black color okay now we can even make it colorful how we will make it colorful we are going to select the first frame now this is your first frame from here figure color you can select the colors like i am selecting the pink color okay now you can see this figure has been changed to the pink color now this one we select suppose we are changing this color to blue now the next one we can change it to maroon color next figure we can change it to orange color and the last frame we are changing the color to green color so now you can see now when we will play this you will see that the picture is changing the colors i think you are feeling it uh, you are it is very interesting topic okay so you all can practice this in your computers in this for making it more interesting you can even add more images in this so press control plus o control plus o now after pressing the control plus o you will have these animations which are available in your system okay in the software so you can select any one of them like horse revenge i'm selecting to save this file i'm um, uh 
saving this like class 5 save now I have saved this project then uh, one more thing is there if you want to add different images in uh, case uh, you will go to the file option then load figure type from here you can select the different options like this is a cowboy this is default pivot which we are already using this is clock this is elephant horse man okay man evolved then man rotate realistic man suppose we are taking the horse Now suppose we are adding another figure, uh, cowboy. Okay, we add one more frame. We can delete the uh, figures also from here. And if you want to delete any frame, so you have to click it here, right click and delete. Okay, this frame will be deleted. Now this is how you can use the Pivot Animator. So it is very interesting software. You people should use it. You should try it. Okay. And uh, when you are going to play this, you will feel it very good. Okay. Thank you all of you.